the this is the breakfast hack if you want ultimate mental productivity fruit quality fruit this is all really quality fruit here quite lucky this is some of the dried mushroom vegan stack things I have, but I mix those with fruit but yeah, I've got some good mangoes here these are pretty, pretty decent you know they look pretty average to most people but they're actually really good it's hard to get good fruit in Australia but occasionally you come across stuff these these nectarines oh, these ones here chosen the only the white ones the yellow ones taste like pesticide but the white ones taste really good the, the season's over now but you might get a few and if you get them wrinkly like that absolute killer all right when well, the nectarine's got some wrinkle it's so much sweeter but yeah this this brand here they're growing them really well chosen all right so if you have a good, good fruit mark what remember what sticker it was these ones i bought as well yeah pretty average pretty average so we've got some apricots, some Clinton, organically grown, St. Bernard's Road. Some really good apricots picked yesterday. I just got that, you know, that brewery's vibe is just so sweet. Really good. Bananas, boom. Buy them yellow, green, let them ripen up. We're going to make a smoothie here. The blender, you know, this gets used a lot. You can fry your banana skins up. And I just use that to uh, put the skins and take it outside. Uh, but yeah, so fat-free breakfast. Really, there's not much fat in fruit, sweet fruit. Add some sugar to it. I'm gonna put some sugar gum on there. And now this is, I don't know if it's breakfast. This, this is good at night time with rice. It's like a really, really low fat. Look, look at the fat grams in that. You know what I mean? Look at that. Per serving, so there's like two serves. So, you know, if you can, this, you got eight gram, 0.8 gram, less than a gram of fat per that, you know? That's what we're talking about. That's why I'm so lean at age 44. You know, just lean, so lean, because I restrict my fat calories it's fat in fat out all right if you got more fat coming in than fat going out you're going to store the fat so if you're going to next to me eat that fatty meal olive oil meat whatever you're eating remember how much fat am i burning today do i need to have this much fat in my diet okay the fat you eat the fat you wear but for me having i, I can't have oats at breakfast or rice it's just too heavy i have that at night time you know this is what i have when i when i feel light and energized fruit, you know, sweet sugar straight away. So sugar helps your cortisol lower. It just makes you feel chill, ready for the day. Sugar as well, white sugar. But I'll top that up and mix it with the fruit if maybe. But this this one doesn't need any sugar. These don't need sugar. These don't need sugar. These need a bit of sugar because they're not that sweet. But again, you're just supplementing what should be in the fruit. Um, so there we go. But I love it when people say, "Oh, sugar's poison," and it's like, "No, no, no, pesticides poison." All right. Just because you add pesticide to a mango doesn't mean it's healthy because it's got fiber and you know, still pesticide in there, okay? Now, sugar is never never a poison. <laughs> sugar's a poison. If sugar's a poison, you can ring the police station and say, someone tried to poison my food. Ask the police station, is it illegal to put poison in someone's food? Deliberately. So if you're pouring sugar in the food, that's poison, isn't it? You know, it's just, some people, what they say, is just pretty dumb. Even the academic, pretty dumb dumbs, but you need sugar. Every cell body wants sugar. The sugar you eat is the energy you have for that day and that moment. And the more energy you have, the more body fat you can burn. All right? And the less fat you're going to eat because you're satisfied. That's why mum says, don't eat sweets before your meal because you ruin your appetite. Sugar satisfies. Mum didn't say, you know, you can't eat fat before your meal because it ruins your appetite. You don't have dessert before dinner, otherwise you wouldn't eat dinner. Or you'd eat a lot less dinner, okay? So if you want to get the extra calories in, don't eat sugar. Because it'll call, if you eat sugar, it'll stop you from eating so much fat, okay? So if you want to get as much fat as possible, eat a keto diet. It's just pure fat, you know? And you'll fatten right up, and your thyroid will get smashed, and you'll feel like crap. But this, way, this is the hack for productivity, and this is why I don't need coffee to wake up. Fruit, sugar, water. 